I'm just going to head up to the photo. Oh, uh, right. We're currently up at the flat. Yep, cool. So that's live on YouTube.
two. Great music. Check one, two, check one, two. Can you hear me now? Check, check. So quite a few cars uh, will be off the start line at a quarter to seven uh, this evening. Council of Brent Weatherall will be uh, flagging them away. We'll send them out of here pretty quickly. We've got 119 teams here from 21 different countries, which is absolutely wonderful. This, by far and away, is New Zealand's best car rally. It is the opening round of our New Zealand Rally Championship and it draws some of the best rally drivers in the world like Chris Meek and it's wonderful to have the uh, Irishman here this week and also US Rally Champion Brendan Seminuk who if you're into mountain biking you'll know that name as an extreme mountain biker as well so wonderful to have Brendan here trying out our roads. First time Chris Meek has ever been in New Zealand. You get a chance to get autographs from those guys as well uh, fairly shortly. But first up, the autograph session at six will be for the New Zealand Rally Championship uh, drivers. They'll be at the top table at, uh, at six o'clock, quarter of an hour. Then we'll have the classic autograph signing six fifteen to six thirty, and then we'll start. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are to, live uh, from the uh, twenty twenty four Brian Green Property Group. He's in a rally champion. Higher Otago Rally. It's all going on here in the Octagon, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. It feels like a, a long time since we were at Rally Bay Plenty last year. And great to be here. It's the traditional place to start our season. Opening day, always something special. Eh? It feels that special buzz in the air. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Just speaking. I guess at the top end of town, the big news, no Hayden Patton for this first round. This is a two-day round, bonus points to consider. So, really, this, this just opens the championship right open. We've seen Hayden miss events before but not a two-dayer with those extra 14 points. I mean, the, the list of guys that could win this rally is, is huge, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Guys and girls with Emma Gilmore at the, at the pointy end as well, one of those main contenders, you know, the, the local girl. I'm sure she'll have the bit between her teeth across the weekend. And it's, it's kind of sad that we, we almost get excited about the fact that Hayden's not here because we, we're very lucky to live in a time where, you know, we're graced with one of the, the all-time greats in, in the sport and, certainly the greatest New Zealand's produced, but it does, it opens the door and it makes everyone just a, a little more excited because there's so many other contenders that can, uh, you know, can, can step up this weekend and across the championship and take control. It means that he has to rely on someone else to have or, or not score as many points. So, yeah, it's exciting times. One, uh, one other big thing, and we'll get Dan to uh, just pan down a little bit here. Um, control tyres for 2024, the first time that the Brian Green Property Group New Zealand Rally Championship has run a control tyre, MRF tyres, so that's a brand new thing, and that's going to take a lot of adjustment for all the teams, isn't it? Absolutely, but it's you know it's, it's a challenge. I'm sure everyone will get used to it. Yeah, you know, great for the championship because yeah, you know, we all want to see a level playing field, and that's what this provides. A, you know, a genuine level playing field. Tyres are not going to be something that determines who wins the championship and who doesn't. There's no excuse it comes down to driver ability now. Yeah, that's great. That's what we want as a competition, right? Absolutely, it's going to be fascinating. Uh, so not just the four-wheel drive cars right across the NZ, two-wheel drive, the open two-wheel drive and the historic classes, they're all on them. Uh, we might go for a little bit of a wander budgie. We'll, we'll relieve you of duties, thank you, mate, and um, go see who we can find around the octagon um, that we can have a chat with. There's in the Gilmerville. Might try and so we'll grab, we'll grab with Dale Moscat, who's here with the FIA. Dale, new, new job for you. We normally see you co-driving all over the world. Um, working with the FIA with the Asia Pacific Rally Championship this weekend. Just tell us a bit about what brings you here. Uh, yeah, it's a new role this year, as you say, uh, and a new role for me as well. But, yeah, working basically for the FIA, but effectively on behalf of the competitors and the organisers as well. So um, 
I guess the key role would be a safety one. So I'm driving through the stages, uh, looking at things and situations and thinking from a competitor's perspective on you know, what sort of speed you're going to be carrying here and, and things like that. So yeah, making some recommendations, making some small changes on the fly, putting some tape around things that you know, might have been missed, just small things like that. But uh, I must say it's good, not a lot to do in New Zealand because they're on top of their game here. It's a well-established rally, it's run really well. So um, yeah, it's fantastic to be here and see the roads as well. Your safety is obviously at the forefront. We thank you. We'll go and uh, grab a couple of our competitors and wish you all the best for your weekend. And might try and um, grab a word with Emma Gilmore if we can for the live stream. So, no swear words, Emma. Lovely to see you. <laughs> Never Ho- swearing. Never. Never. No, not at all. Not at all. No. Hometown rally, uh, obviously, it's all very exciting, isn't it? It is. I mean, what a great turnout here uh, in the Octagon. I'm so glad it's not raining. Um, yep. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the team have done such an amazing job promoting the event that's been in the Otago Daily Times all the time about their rally and, and it's just great to see so much local support. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? And for you, um, your first, I guess, crack in about five, six years at a full championship and um, with Hayden being away too, it's, it really is a crack at the championship, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like I've got the best of both worlds. He's been on the phone giving me advice and helping, but uh, he's not taking the, one of the podium spots. So uh, I think it's pretty exciting for all of us here um, to have that opportunity. But, I mean, it's always a tough tough event here. It's a lot of kilometres and none of them are repeat stages. So Ricky's been so important these last two days. For you, this is obviously the home rally. You've come close before. Um, putting, taking the championship hat off, what, what would it mean to take a win on your home rally? Oh, I mean, it would be a dream come true. It's absolutely the event I'd love to win. So, you know, we'll, we'll just do what we need to do uh, one stage after another and, uh, yeah, we'll see what comes on Sunday afternoon. We wish you all the best, Emma. Have a, have a great rally. Thank you. Um, oh, we've got Ben Hunt here too. See, see if we can squeeze in. Sorry, Benny, can we grab you for... 30 seconds, really mate. Want to grab me. Uh, yeah, you're, you're live, so just be careful what you say. <laughs> mate, um, on, take a joke around here. No, 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 I'm super serious, you know that. <laughs> Number one on the car, that's a pretty prestigious way to start the year. Yeah, I think it's probably the first time we've uh, before, but um, for Dunedin, it's normally, uh, you know, you get people like Gareth and that coming, so um, I probably thought Gareth might have uh, had Number one on the car this weekend because he's, um, you know, got a pretty good uh, area around the world, but. Um, yeah, pretty awesome to lead the cars away and yeah, look excited to it and every, all the cars looking flash and yeah, can't wait to get out there and throw some stones. Yeah, absolutely, a beautiful tribute livery that you and your team have put together for, for Brooklyn and Tyson who we sadly lost earlier this year. Um, does that sort of put any extra pressure on you? I know you're not big on pressure, you, you really just you go out there and do your thing. No, I think it, I, it definitely doesn't put any pressure on you but it definitely um, is close to home and makes you probably think about uh, everything a bit more serious than what we used to back, back uh, you know, before the accident. But yeah, um, real tragedy, and yeah, still uh, close to home. Yeah, definitely has been. Um, with no Hayden here, how important is it to get, yeah, pretty well the perfect start to the championship? Yeah, obviously everyone knows that it's important. <laughs> a perfect start. You don't have to make a statement about that. But um, yeah, we just want to go out there and enjoy it, and um, yeah, just we've. Uh, had the engine done over at Skoda and yeah, it's been a, been a bit of a miss in the last two or three months so just keen to get out there and, um, and do some Ks and we did maybe 20 Ks testing so um, yeah, not a great great amount. I know you, you're not big on looking at things before the event so now you've actually been out done Ricky and seen what roads you're on, are you excited to get on them? Yeah, it's um, probably uh, wish I had a, had the bigger um, ratio gearbox, <laughs> it's um, there's uh, you know, even Berwick Forest, that normally slows the rally down a bit, is um, very fast this year. So, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's probably one of the faster rally rotations for the whole 16 stages that we've ever had. I'll tighten up those belts and have a good All right, All right we'll see who else we can uh, grab a word with. Jeff Ritter there snapping some, some photos. We'll grab a word with Stewie Reid because he's, uh, he's had a bit of a change on the, on the live stream, Stewie, last you in the, the Mazda RX-7 this year, uh, AP4 Mirage, slight change. Uh, massive change. Um, very excited about the year. Uh, I've got a lot to learn. Um, so this rally is going to be a, a learning curve. So we'll get some more kilometres under our belt, Bella and I. And um, yeah. How much of a run have you had in the car? Um, it's very good. Uh, we did uh, testing with Hayden. Um, we did about 80 kilometres. And then he organised a sprint 
um, on that Saturday, yep. which was very good as well. Um, but still, there's just that much to learn. I've, yeah. You've done a fair bit of four-wheel drive rallying in Australia, so potentially a lot of our audience base hasn't seen a lot of that. Um, but that was more production-based, wasn't it? Yeah, that was back in Group N. Um, my uh, Evo 3s were the first Group N car, and then a couple of Evo 6s, then when Possum came to Australia, and we got a Subaru and ran that for a couple of years. And then when Neil Bates got his factory Corollas, we had a factory Group MP car, drove his S2000 car at the WRC around the Coffs Harbour. And that was the last time I drove something with a sequential gearbox, but nothing like this car. It's a, it's a proper car. I'm very impressed. So what are the major differences when you strap in and what, what are you feeling and doing different compared to like a production car? Um, well, basically, everything's different. The, the flat, getting used to not having to lift off the throttle to change gear, being able to, seems very mechanically unsympathetic, bang the gears down like there's no tomorrow. Um, these are things that I'm, I'm struggling with, to be very honest. It'll take me a while to learn it. But um, the brakes are great. There's just so many things that I could talk to you on that about the things I like about it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good place to be. Best for the week. And, um, yeah, hope, hopefully it's all looking nice and shiny and you've learned a lot at the end of the weekend. Thanks, we'll talk to you then. All right, we'll wander back a, a bit deeper. In, and as you can see, huge turnout here in the, the centre of town for the Central Machine Hire Otago Rally. So we'll see, wander in and see who we can step up, Dan, would you? Jason Farmer. We, we'll talk to a co-driver because he's got himself a, a pretty flash ride this year, mate, with, uh, in with Jack Hawksford. What are, you, what are your initial uh, sort of thoughts and impressions? Oh, actually really impressed. I got to come down and do uh, Pepper Tonight sprint with him. Yep. I, I probably pronounce that wrong, I always do, but um, no, really impressed. He's, he's real real quick. It's awesome. Great ride. Busy couple of days wrecking. Uh, the guys have talked about you know, no repeat stages. Just yeah. tell us a little bit about how what a workload that puts on you as a co-driver pre-event. Yeah, so we spent roughly 10 hours yesterday actually doing the recce and then um, got back to the hotel last night and I spent another five hours tidying up my notes ready for today to do another seven and a half hours of recce and then I've probably got another three hours of note work to do when I get back to the hotel. So it just drags the weekend out and it just mentally is quite exhausting and especially for the drivers as well, you know, they've got to figure out what they want to say on the notes and how everything's going to look and especially on roads this fast with the crests and stuff like that, knowing what they want, where they want to sit. So yeah, it's, it's hard work, man. Where do you rate your chances? Oh, look, I'd like to think top five. We'll give it a nudge. Hey, what do you reckon? 100%. Yeah. 100%. Look, hey. at it. Look at it, Eddie. It's my final answer. All right, yeah. If you go top five, any better is an improvement. So, hey, let's do it. Absolutely, mate. We wish you all the best. Thanks. Jason Farmer there sitting with Jack Hawkswood. Oh, speaking of, speak of the devil, we've got a couple of them. Jack Hawkswood, Robbie Stokes, don't you run away. You're next. <laughs> mate, we've just, just had a good word with... Um, with Jace, your co-driver, pretty exciting to have him on board. Oh yeah, no, it's going to be a, going to be an amazing year. I think, um, yeah, we've got so far from what we've done, we've gotten along really well in the car, and yeah, no, it's all going really good. It's it's really good to have that have that experience with you in the car. Like it just makes a massive difference to to everything in the recce, and you know, recce's eighty percent of your rally. So yeah, that's no, really good. We haven't seen a heap of you in the championship in the last sort of year or so. Um, but there's been plenty going on behind the scenes. What's what's that car like? Yeah, no, the car's really good. Um, yeah, like I say, we haven't done a whole lot of racing last year, but that didn't mean we weren't doing plenty with it. So, yeah, no, I think it's um, we've finally finally gotten the thing sorted, and yeah, we're really happy with um, with how the car's going at the moment. All right, you go sign some autographs, phone number on some posters, and. Um I've just come over to make sure he hasn't told you how old I am. Yeah. All weekend, that's what he talks about. Yeah. Or yeah. I dropped it already. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to get him one day. 21 year old Jason Farmer there with Jack Hawkswood. We'll get Robbie Stokes in. Robbie, um, yeah, big season for, for everyone at the top end of the, of the, the um, field. You know, what, what sort of prep have you been doing? Because, again, we haven't seen you for, for a fair while since Timaru last year. Yeah, we've been. Well, nearly 10 months out of the car. We've done a, a little test down south and then a rally sprint a few weekends ago. And other than that, not really anything. So um, sort of in the same boat as everyone. Um, starting the year out with, a, you know, not a lot of practice under the belt. So, yeah, we'll just see how we go tomorrow. We're not, um, not pushing ourselves to do anything big or crazy. And uh, got Sarah in the car this year, so a new co-driver pairing. So, um, yeah, it'll just be about learning tomorrow and, uh, yeah, having some fun. Don't want to dwell on it too much, and but I don't think it's a secret. Last year was, you know, shocker. Um, fair, fair reset in the team. It's fair to say. 
Yeah, we've got a few new personnel on the team, so uh, yeah, had a bit of a refresh and a uh, few really good people have come on board for this year and uh, yeah, we're just back to having good old fun rallying and, and got my brother Jack in the in the championship as well and his R2, the car that I used to drive, so um, he'll be keeping people on us. He's uh, yeah, showing a few good signs, so um, yeah, we're just really happy to be back to just enjoying the rallying and not uh, getting too caught up in the results and stuff like that. I mean... I say that now, but yeah. You're a competitive man, let's face it. We, we, when you check the times at the end of stage one, you'll, you'll be looking for your name up the top, won't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I won't say no. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had much of a chance to work with Sarah? Obviously, new pairing. Yeah, we've... I was just uh, doing Ricky over the summertime, so um, yeah, we've done about 500 Ks or something like that. Obviously, both full time workers, it's hard to get out and do it, but we've, uh, yeah, we've, we've done the hard yards, so we've um, yeah, got a really good relationship. Uh, yeah, we'll wait to see how it goes in the morning, but uh, the rally sprint, uh, she went really good, and um, yeah, we gelled pretty fast, so yeah, no, it should be, should be pretty good. Fantastic, thanks Robbie, we, we really do, we're sure the best, mate, yeah, no hope, it, hope it turns around from last year. Um, it's the top end of the field, certainly looking pretty stacked as we work our way back through crowds of people. Let's see if we can find any more of our championship competitors, Dan. Uh, we'll wonder, excuse us all, as you can see people everywhere, Craig Jessup looking very official with his swinger, I'm sure he's got everything under control, we'll nab Andy Graves because he's down here and he's got a bit of a different, different role this year, it's kind of funny to think of Andrew Graves is an NZRC rookie. Yeah. How are you, sir? I'm very well. How are you? I don't know about a rookie. I've been done this a couple of times, but yeah, in the yeah. driver's seat, apparently I'm a rookie. So yeah, yeah. Let's see how we go. A rookie that's probably done 70 or 80 rounds of the championship as a co-driver with Josh. So yeah. um, obviously, this one you got your, your boy alongside, and you're in the Evo three and and running at the front of the Group A field. You're you're our road sweeper. Yes, yes, road sweeping this weekend. So um, to be honest, I'm actually looking forward to it. You know, I don't mind being out the front. Showing uh, you know what we can do, but it's uh, it's good to have Hayden bo on board, and yeah, it's just we're going to go out and have some fun and see what happens. It's a pretty stacked field, that Group A field. Are you feeling a bit of pressure? No, I, I, I do get a lot of pressure from a lot of people, and it sort of you know it doesn't really bother me too much. I just go out there and drive as fast as I can and see what happens. I was going to say, do you actually feel pressure? Do you understand pressure? Oh yeah, I get yeah, I get a bit of pressure from the wife at times. <laughs> <laughs> good on you, Dougie. We wish you all the best, Thanks, mate. You have a great rally. We might see if we can grab Paul Cross as well. We'd drag him out of the crowd. Rather, rather than going over there, we'll, we'll make Paul do the work. <laughs> Paul running one of the H sixes in the in the Group A Challenge, the yep. Subaru Impresas, and um, she's a pretty stacked field, isn't it? Ah, uh, very good. Yeah, no, it's uh, great to see this year. Bloody, there's, there's six to ten cars that could be up there, so it's really good. Yep. Exciting battle. I mean, probably D Dougie joining at the last minute wasn't what, what anyone else wanted to see. Uh, look, Andrew, uh, we've got nothing to worry about with Andrew. Andrew would be, he'd be competing with the Group A with the Cat 1 cars. So, um, yeah, no, we'll just do our thing. Um, Andrew Lawrence tomorrow, he's 10 time Lawrence winner, so uh, he'll be into it. Um, but no, we're just doing our own thing. If we can stick with Timmy and James and those boys, um, we'll be fine. So, yeah. Absolutely. Have you done much to the car? I mean, there's not a heap that you can do with them, are they? They're, they're sort of a relatively basic and a good way package. Uh, yeah, no, I've done nothing. Um, our last rally last year was Wyndham and fresh in the gearbox since and did Pop it and Noah the other day and gave it a shakedown and it's good to go. So, no, they're, they're pretty good. So, just you remember how it all works? Uh, it all come back to me. So, no, it's like riding a bike, mate. Beautiful. Oh, we wish you all the best, Crossy. Cheers, Have a good one, mate. Um, as you can see, look at the people down in the, the base of the octagon there and just see who we can spy that'll want to have a chat to us. Uh, it's always fun. John Silcock there. He's going to be one of the front runners in the Otago Classic Rally this year, John. <laughs> Not sure? Not so sure? Oh, no. Well, you just to have some fun this year. That's good. Yep. Absol yep. Absolutely. It's a bit of a bugger to see a, a couple of the front runners in that one sort of dropping out with... with Regan and Marcus, but um... yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, you know, we would have loved to have done things again, but um, just for the economic, a few different things. And uh, my young fella Harry doing his first Otago, and uh, just going to give him a bit of a hand this year, doing my favourite rally. So I'm um, really quite looking forward to it, actually. 
how special is it to have the second generation coming through? Oh, really cool. You know, he's had some pretty fantastic results for the amount of events he's done, especially in his cross car, but even in, in that. So um, he's had a full rebuild, so let's hope it's all good. And uh, it's looking pretty mint. As long as it looks like that tomorrow night, we'll be happy. Absolutely. That's our reigning champion in the historic category, John Silcock. Just having a bit of a quieter year this year, but he'll be out there throwing some stones in the RX-7. Um, who else can we see? Who else can we see, Dan? Wander up here, there's a few, few likely looking lads. Sure. Across the world, on, on the other side of the world with his ERC commitment. So, um, yeah, the, the cool opportunity. Championship, and you know, a lot of guys have been talking about how the opportunity's there for them. I guess you're looking the other way, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's like, oh, you know, it would have been great to, to do all six rounds, but obviously, you know, other priorities uh, have to take over.